then you can do reading aloud and it also helps students discover how writing is associated with the spoken language associating letters with sounds and all that where a silent read- reading is mainly done to increase their comprehension to prepare students to become efficient readers and again i have to go back to those questions which i asked in my first session as well all right most of the time reading is done by the teacher in the classroom teacher reads aloud teacher explains all right whereas if it is silent reading then you have to give them their time all right the so students have to practice reading and finally our overall goal is to develop their literacy skill they have to become autonomous readers you are not improving your reading right you have to facilitate reading skill in students so you have to give them their time right yeah so if you still have questions we can discuss but i am sure you are convinced that silent reading is more important than reading aloud especially at the high school level and when they go to higher educate higher classes for example they need to do a lot of reference reference work a lot of reading is to be done in higher classes and making notes writing a summary all that has to be done on one soul students can't depend on others right they have to become self sufficient autonomous so that's what we need to do at the high school level when they pass out class 10 they should be able to read independently any text of that level not necessarily textbooks it's important to use supplementary materials if you depend only on the textbook it may be difficult for to achieve all these goals you need to bring in other materials design interesting activities right and then use reading cards ciefl for example now it's called efl university english and foreign languages university they've developed a series of reading cards these are wonderful materials great these are called graded readers i think it will be good to get one material from efl university and keep one set for your school give it to students and develop their reading skill in a graded manner right so these are called graded reading materials you can begin with words sentences and then move on to short passages short stories there's a lot of visual support pictorial support given in this reading cards and interesting tasks exercises set so on the one, on one page of the card you have the reading text on the other side you have activities exercises we have also developed reading cards at ri bangalore uh, they they were so popular that we don't have stock now actually reading cards are developed at three levels beginner intermediate advanced so you need to devise strategies you need to devise strategies to improve your reading skill and have an action plan like it can't be applied to the whole class you have to have different strategies depending on the reading levels of your students some students may be at the word level some may be at the sentence level some of them may be able to read even passages so can you have one common lesson plan for the whole class one common set of activities so it's important to divide the classroom time and then think of multi level tasks some tasks for students who are at the beginners level you need to have tasks to engage them some tasks for students who are at, the, at a slightly above level and some challenging tasks also for those students who can read on their own so you should, you should have multi level tasks multi level activities to really really help individual students or to meet their individual requirements needs right then okay we will move on to the next slide next is now what is okay so the other thing is reading fast i just wanted you to read this very fast but i don't have time for that now so if you read a text fast that will also not help okay so reading fast without comprehension is also not a good practice you must maintain a moderate speed while reading for comprehension read some yes so some students have the habit of reading very fast so some teachers think students should read fast that may not help actually in comprehending reading fast without comprehension is a waste what is the average reading speed 
So slow readers, for example, if your students are slow readers, so slow reading is desirable when the material is difficult or when high comprehension is required. If it is a technical document, maybe then we have to read it slowly, right? And poor readers, when they read slowly, they read 90 to 125 words per minute with 80 to 90 percent comprehension. Whereas good readers are able to read 200 to 300 words per minute with 80 to 90 percent comprehension. So you'll have to find out the levels of your students. Are they poor or are they good readers? If they're good readers, they should be able to read 200 to 300 words per minute with 80 to 90 percent comprehension. And average readers... So this average reading speed is used for everyday reading of newspapers, magazines, and easier textbooks. Students have to maintain an average speed, which is if, the, if your students are poor readers, then they will be able to read 150 to 180 words per minute. Maybe they read word by word, sentence by sentence, and all that with 70% comprehension. If they're good readers, they should be able to read 250 to 500 words per minute with 70% comprehension. With practice, students can definitely achieve this goal. So your goal is to make them read 250 to maybe 400 words per minute with 60 to 70% comprehension. And fast readers like us, for example, many of you, I know, I'm sure you'll be able to read fast with 50 to 60% comprehension. That's where we skim a text, read that is reading quickly to get an overall meaning. Uh, and also scan sometimes. We skim, we scan, whereas poor readers cannot do all this. They just maybe read word by word. They cannot skim, they cannot scan the text. And as a result, the reading speed will be reduced drastically. Right? And then some of these are faulty reading habits which many students still practice. For example, yeah, reading word by word is definitely a faulty reading habit. Reading every word in a sentence will slow down the process of reading and this could be a frustrating experience. And then finger pointing. Some students have the habit of pointing fingers when they are reading. Some readers use their fingers to point at every word words they read. This habit should be avoided because it slows down the reading speed. And vocalization, sub-vocalization. These are also bad reading habits. Vocalization is lip reading. It's also called lip reading, reading aloud. When you're supposed to read silently, you tend to read it aloud. So you disturb others, all right, you necessarily make noise. That is vocalization. Some vocalization is not making sound, but still opening your lip and reading silently to yourself, right? Reading silently to yourself by opening your lips. That is sub vocalization. Both are faulty reading habits. Regression. What is regression? Can anybody tell me the meaning? What is regression? Regression. Anyone? Regression. What is regression? Yes. Going back. Feeling sorry. Feeling sorry. Oh, yeah. sorry. Feeling sorry. Feeling bad about what we have done. No, 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 no. Regression says rereading. Regression means reading what you've already read. Going back, as somebody has typed in the chat box, going back to what you've already read. Maybe you're not able to remember the characters, remember their relationships. You're not able to connect one sentence with another. So you're reading what you've already read. Reading, rereading what you've read. That is regression. Rereading what you've already read. That's also a faulty reading habit. If you're a good reader, you should be able to read fluently, right? Identifying chunks, groups of words. Look at some of the techniques involved in reading. These are called skimming, scanning, intensive reading, and extensive reading. What I want you to do is, before you attend the next session, I'm going to share a passage here, right? I'm going to share a link. You have to, one second, you have to ask questions to develop, yes. Here is the, I'll, I'll share the link here in the chat box. One second, yeah, give me one second. I'm going to share the link to an article in the chat box. 
what you should do is yes this is an article from education world magazine please open the link read this article and you have to think of some questions to develop students skimming skill if you have got the module please go through the module read this particular chapter on reading try to understand the difference between skimming and scanning okay skimming and scanning i want you to open this link read the passage this is an article written by dr krishna kumar former director of ncert i want you to frame some questions to help students skim the text no this post is not available only to member education world is available you can open the link it's available anybody can open the link read the article all right it's an open and access article please read the article frame some questions that will help someone to skim the text skim is read the text quickly to understand the overall gist to get an overall idea of the passage right yeah the downside of beautiful schools that's the article name the downside of beautiful schools by krishna kumar if you google you'll get this article please read this and think of some questions which will help your students to read the passage quickly and find out answers right that is one the other one is uh, the same passage reading pet day disaster if you go to google it will be reading pet day disaster i'll type it again reading pet day reading pet day disaster t i s a s t e e reading pet so sorry so not reading pet day pet day disaster it's called sir. pet day disaster yeah tell me Hello? sir yes. pet day disaster yeah tell sir, me this article is available for only for the members sir not for others sir no 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 it's available sir it's available sir, for everyone sir, just, just check, I po- check just i posted sir just i posted this post is only available to members Yes, sir. It is correct because when we click on the link, it will be said uh, this maybe, post maybe is only for members. Maybe members are members. able to uh, see the article, sir. Okay, okay. Just check here. Yeah, please check. I'll share another article then. Wait, wait. Give me one more minute. I'll share one more article then. Okay, so the link is not visible, sir. It's there in the chat box. Somebody can share it in the WhatsApp group. You can share it in the. I'll share another link. Another link. Yeah, please check. another link another article by krishna kumar former director of ncert is called prepare recovery after covid repair recovery after covid from the education world magazine just see if it is opening are you able to get the article from the magazine no sir we can't uh, open the article because it oh, says the same the post is only available to members i see i see okay okay i'll check i'll check yeah it was available actually until a few days ago okay all right doesn't matter doesn't matter anyway i'll share the pdf copy in the whatsapp group i'll share it soon i'll share the pdf copy of both the articles what you should do is read any one of these articles by krishna kumar and frame interesting questions not for intensive reading all right questions to develop skimming skill okay and the other passage on pet day disaster read that passage once again and frame questions for scanning what's the difference between skimming and scanning anybody skimming is reading quickly to get the gist of the passage scanning is reading quickly to locate specific information in the text these are two techniques we adopt in reading skimming and scanning please find out the differences and frame questions accordingly a few questions for skimming a few questions for scanning skimming krishna kumar's passage for scanning you have got pet day disaster passage or you can frame questions for both skimming and scanning on the same passage as well some questions for skimming some questions for scanning all right you have to categorize them questions for skimming questions for scanning you can have it on the same passage if krishna kumar's article is not opening then read please read the same story pet day disaster pet day disaster frame different types of questions for skimming and scanning is that clear everyone skimming maybe how many questions yeah venkat ramana has asked a good question how many questions for skimming anybody generally how many questions for skimming generally how many questions two to three questions for skimming yeah four maximum four questions for skimming and four or five questions for scanning that's right 
ിംഗ് <laughs> please maintain your reading log please thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you thank you thank you very much sir thank you for effective thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you 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 sir